Mm-hmm. Note on this Note house. On this one is uh, uh, my grandfather's home. He designed and built was a civil engineer who specialized in NFL stadiums. Uh, we just sold the house. Plenty of money for cheap gang. Damn type. Shit. Damn. Gang gang. Gang, 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 gang. Uh, let me tell you something right now, buddy. I would wear two chihuahuas as boxing gloves. I would wear two chihuahuas as tactical bank robber gloves. Yeah. And I would use their paws in their head as my own fingers. Like, like, the, mitten. like a little mitten. Yeah. Like I would put my pinkies in the like legs. Is like the internals of a dog is just like a puppet. It's just like a glove. So yeah, the glove. It's like a glove. Yeah, and I would use two chihuahuas as uh, tactical bank robbing gloves oh, uh, like it was nothing. I would wear them for the rest of my life if I could have this house, okay? If this house was my house and they were like, you can have it, you have to wear two dogs, two Pomeranians as gloves for the rest of your life, okay. signing checks. No problem. Oh, let me just get my wallet out. I have to, <laughs> I have to get my wallet out of the... Out of two Pomeranians, no, the, the, the the dog's mouth would be the grabber. Yeah, it'd be a little grabber, it like sentient. teeth. It would be connected. It'd be an extension of you. Yeah, I'd be like, hey, yeah, here you go. Here's a cigarette, and it, you'd be looking at it like, Arr! <laughs> yeah, yeah. all right, just kidding with you. It's, I got a house. Yeah, <laughs> you try to explain it like you have two pine. I'm I'm just fucking around. They're extensions. I to my wear body. them. They're basically I wear them. I get the house. It was two point six million. Guy was a civil engineer. Spelled spent uh, spent his life doing uh, NFL stadiums. You know, like, so. So I'm like a parasite. I can control the dog's brain. Yeah, I'm a, I'm the parasite. See, I switched it around. I was so sick of getting parasites from their dog shit yeah, yeah, yeah. that uh, now I'm the parasite. But as far as the block construction, this brutalism is exactly... Riff, this is what... This riff should get. Where is this? Pinecrest, Florida? Damn. Yeah, this is, this is swag. This is so nice. Uh, Shouts out to your grandpa. Yeah, your grandpa was a brutalist. And uh, that's what all the girls down at the strip club knew him as. Old Uncle, uh, uh, Grandpappy Brutal. Yep. Brutal. Yeah. yeah. He would spend his, uh, he, he'd, he used to tell the girls, the strippers, I want to use you as a snowboard. Hmm. Would you let me use you as a snowboard? I like it rougher than you can imagine. They call me the Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Charlie. That's talking what about, you can call me. <laughs> yeah, Chainsaw Charlie. Yeah, this house is absolutely stunning. The landscaping is really good. The underplantings, the the uh, the palms underneath, even the the lazy river, the concrete lazy river, the patios. I mean, it'll it'll make you want to start doing. It. Um, only ce- only during celebration though. Only during said. celebration, yes. I do like that bookshelf too. I will build a bookshelf like this. I have to remember that. Um, very good though. I know that I know that people will be turned off by the cinder blocks. Look up Brute Builds on Instagram. That's a very good one. B R U T B U I L Brute Builds. It's a it's a great page. And uh, yeah, great. Thank you very much for showing me. This is this is perfect. I would find Reading, PA. Great find, guys. Horny. Or beat me to it. Horny. It looks familiar. It looks familiar because I've been this horny before. <laughs> S the Smiths. This is oh look at would you look at that? The Schumacher. Is this house is for? This house has a certain doormat on it. <laughs> oh, wow. Mike, uh, Mike Pence? <laughs> it's Mike Pence house? Wow, Czechoslovakian cobalt cut crystal uh, vases. They got a ruby, gla- a ruby flash cut crystal set and a, uh, a cobalt blue Polish or Czechoslovakian cut crystal Vaz collection. Ruby Flash. Ruby Flash is the term. Nice. Great wear and tear on these mid-century bar stools in this mid-90s kitchen. 574, though, I'm not even getting mad at you. A little bar to shake up a cocktail back here. Look at, mm. Yeah. Got some, uh, what's little that called? Mantles. What's that green bottle? Oh, a little uh, vermouth. Yeah. A little vermouth, a little, little wine, a couple of low-end spirits. Mm-hmm. Nice. Carpeted stairwell, a four-poster bed with uh, cherubs carved into it, an antique four-poster rope bed. That's a. At one point, was a fifteen thousand dollars piece of furniture. I, I like that bathroom. Yes, four by four, tile, well executed with a kept original, perfect. It's like the color of like old piss, but it it's like. Comfort, wax is comforting somehow. Yeah, grease. Yeah, earwax. More wax color. Hell yeah. 
Lots of grease yellows and wax. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Look at the attic. Fucking attic's, uh... Look at the... the well-built this son of a bitch is. Original pieces of the house. The basement. You got a Viking, Viking helmet. You got some Italian pottery. Wow. Would you look at that? This is a nice house. Horny. Warning, super horny. Just kidding with you. So, when can we get in this place? That's what I say to the realtor. Yeah. Warning, I'm horny. I'm just f***ing with you. I watch this thing on YouTube. Why is your hand wet? Pre -co I'm sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, uh, first of all, it's none, it's none of your business. It's pre yeah, the landscaping's really well executed. Not perfect, but very good. Um, old wine cellar. A root cellar. Wow, okay. A built-in... Wow, snow falling off. Mm. Nasty. A, a built-in basement bar. A little Iranian Bukhara. Brass or copper stuff? Yeah, a little copper for some Moscow mules. <clears throat> mm. Right? Looks like almost like Uncle Drunky. Yeah. S. For suck off dogs for this yeah. house. <laughs> yeah. Big S for it. Um for I, honestly it's a, it's actually a really, really, really nice house. Uh well appointed, well built. Uh person knew what they had. Five seventy four. Let's see. Uncle Philadelphia bought it for uh, three seventy five. Whoa, three seventy five, three fifty five. Um, cost to fill pool, cover with sod, and enclosed property with formal hedges. Found for big boys at fifty dollars a piece and rose bush line. Or uh, and rose bushes. Mm -hmm. Don't care much about ROI. Need a yard. LOL. Also do a show in LA. Okay. So, cost to fill pool, cover with sod, and enclosed property with formal he formal hedges and rose bushes. This house is fat, dude. For an LA house, this house is very good. Very good. Not even for an LA house. Really? You want to cover the pool? Really, dude? If you wanted to thin up your... You, you'd have to go with fencing. Like, this bamboo is... This is, this is eating four feet at the top, right? You have this big width. If this were fencing, it could be six inches wide and you could gain everywhere. So what I would do is I would have a, uh, instead of going with natural plants, I would use, the way to do it is to use like aluminum louvered fencing or natural fencing that's thinner, thinner profile. If you do want to remove some of the vegetation, that's fine. But then you'll have to put them back because you're not going to have a fucking concrete backyard. So you're going to have to incorporate some sort of greenery um, but you can do that with uh, potted. Um, what do you guys got out there? I mean, you guys got different species out there. But um, can you access the pool with Bobcat? Pulling it out to me would be such a f sin. But whatever. Hey, the heart wants what the heart wants. Um, how are you getting back here? If you can pull right here and you can destroy this, um, it'll cost you. I mean, you got to drain it. That's whatever. Sounds like 500 bucks to me. Drain the damn thing. Um, crush it up and fill it down. You know, jackhammer the, uh, the mechanicals out of it, out of the ground. Uh, take the concrete off and then backfill it with um, natural material. Seems like a sin to me, but hey, like I said, the heart wants. Um, if you can thin up the profile and get yourself some more room, would you keep it? Um, if not, uh, whatever, this is three... Three six hundred dollar trucks worth of no, is it three? Maybe it's three to five. It's a hundred yards of fill and material, maybe. Sixty sixty yards of fill and material, compacted, plated, and then brought back up. It was I don't know, sod is what you're gonna want, but um, nonetheless, I would really just work on uh, eliminating the vegetation in the areas to to identify the spaces and draw rectangles on rectangles and and identify exactly what you want to do in each speck of the yard, because um. Well, that's kind of like what you buy out there. This is this is kind. That's kind of the look you buy. I don't think they fucked anything up. I mean, I know it's not. It's too small and too portioned off. But um, I would I would take some stakes out there, some grading stakes, spray paint the tips of them orange so you can see them, and start to put stakes in the ground and start to imagine rectangles and spaces where you want them um, and what you want out of a yard. And see how you can achieve it and start to like use your use your finger and pinky as like an eye line and, and start there. 
But uh, I don't hate it enough. I would keep it. I would. I would keep everything there. I think you're fucking nuts to pull that out. Um, that's just me being an old friend. And I think anybody who's buying that this is the first time in history where a pool is a big value add because uh, getting a new pool is so expensive. So.